Today, we'll be looking at how you can create tests and worksheets in Aurelia and Musician. Before we start, tests are sets of questions that teachers can create for their students and classes. Teachers generally use tests in many different ways. Daily worksheets, formal assessment, and customised learning tasks. In both Aurelia and Musician, we include loads of tests for you. There are tests for band and jazz, and of course general ear training and music theory. You can assign any of these tests to any of your students, as we'll show you later in this video. Many teachers like to create their own tests, ensuring that their students are covering content that is relevant to their current area of study. Choose tests on the main screen. Create a new test, enter the name and description. There are a number of options, but we'll come back to these. We'll put some content into our test first. Choose the Entries button. And now, create a new entry. The first thing that you'll notice is that there are two entry types in version 5, Level Drills and Library Drills. Level Drills use randomly selected questions from any syllabus and topic, including levels that you may have created in your own syllabus. Library Drills draw from the audio and notation assets in our question library giving you the power to control the exact content that your students will be presented with. Many teachers use a mix of level drills and library drills in the one task. Our first entry will be a level drill. We're going to choose chord recognition. We choose the syllabus, topic, level, number of questions, and number of marks for the entry. Notice the level description. This provides more detail about content as you browse the topics and levels. Also, when you are choosing the syllabus for any of your entries, if you have created your own syllabus, that will also appear. It's absolutely fine to mix and match content from multiple syllabuses. Our second entry will be a library drill. We'll give this a title set two questions to be asked, and then we'll select our questions. The library has hundreds and hundreds of questions. You can browse through, but it's a lot simpler to search. Let's find a Mozart question in 4.4. We've chosen a melodic dictation question and have added it to our list. You don't have to rely on the question descriptions here. You can preview any question right on this screen. We'll also add two more melodic dictation questions. Notice how easy it is to search for items in the library. Back on the test editing screen, we can now see our three chosen questions. But if you remember, when I created this entry, I set two questions to be asked. By having more questions than required, I've created a question bank. Each student will do two of the three questions and they'll be chosen randomly for each of the students. We love this new feature, allowing you to have the best of both worlds, randomly selected questions and high quality library content. If a topic has playback, generally in Aurelia, you can modify the number of replays that the student is allowed for each question. Now, you can continue to add as many entries as required. Simply repeat the process for either level drills or library drills. Let's assign our new test to some of our students. 
Select the classes that you wish to take the test. When the students next log in, your oral test one will be available. If you would like to preview the test, you can simply select play right on this screen. Let's now work through some settings. It can be handy to allow your students to quit a test and then resume it at a later stage, especially if it's a worksheet style of assignment. If you're using a test as a worksheet, many teachers wish their students to receive feedback as they work. However, if it's a proper assessment task, you can easily disable the feedback for that test. A new option in version 5, students viewing test entries on their home screen, this is turned on by default. Many teachers allow their student to attempt the test multiple times, especially if it's a worksheet. The results from each attempt are all stored separately. And when you look at the reports, there are numerous ways you can view these results. The best attempt, the worst attempt, or the combined attempts. There are also many situations where you may wish to prevent your students from seeing their own results. Sometimes marks need to be standardised or turned into a letter grade. There are two options controlling this. When students can view their results, we also support them seeing their scores in different ways. If you're new to the software, then the default is the best choice. The time slot feature is absolutely invaluable when using cloud. It's very common to set a finishing time or due date for the task. This has two benefits. It keeps students focused and importantly, it means that once the finishing time has passed, the teacher can run reports knowing that no more results can be added. Another common use of time slots is when you require that your students complete a task while under supervision. For example, you may require your band students to complete the oral test one when in your band room between 9 and 11 a.m. An awesome new feature in version 5 is time limits. You can set a time limit for a whole test or for each individual entry depending on the type of test that you are creating. I especially like the time limits on individual entries. These allow you to ensure that students attempt each entry and don't get stuck on more difficult tasks. As you can see, for any time limit, you can choose to have an alert appear as the time runs out. When students are taking the test, there is a countdown timer on screen. When students enter Aurelia and Musician, they start at their home screen. Tests that have been assigned to the student appear in three groups. Priority tasks, the most urgent items, showing tests that have a due date, upcoming tasks, and custom tests. That completes our tutorial on tests and worksheets. Now that you know how to create and assign these tasks, the next step is learning how to view the results. You'll find a training video covering results and reports on our website. Thanks for watching. Thank you.